Welcome to our final week of our introduction to teaching and learning. Effective course design is structured around student-centered learning, which actively welcomes students into the process of learning. It includes student choice. There's a bond between students and teachers and staff. There's space built in for individual pacing. There's an opportunity for students to take what they already know outside of school and what goes on around them and actually connects that to the learning experience. It values what students already know and encourages them to bring it into the classroom. It's relevant to their lives. There's dedicated time for reflection so that students can consider metacognitively how they've grown throughout each unit and throughout the semester long class. While you are a subject matter specialist, effective online educators combine both the cognitive and effective domains together to create an atmosphere where online students are the most successful. Did you know that the number one aspect that makes a difference in student success regardless of content area is whether or not students feel like their instructors care. Furthermore, in this learner-centered space, your students contribute actively as part of a larger community of learners, not as passive receptacles. This week, you will be introduced to several concrete strategies to make this happen in your online courses. I recommend you keep a list that you refer back to as you revise your courses each semester. You will have an opportunity to practice some of these strategies. One thing you will do is create a short video welcome announcement. If you ever have a chance to read Karen Costa's 99 Tips for Creating Simple and sustainable educational videos, I recommend that you do. It gives several helpful tips. You will also practice composing a letter for those students who may be struggling in your class with the hope of supporting their success. You will also have an opportunity to circle back and reflect on what you've learned throughout this course. The bottom line in online teaching is that you matter. I thank you for all that you've shared in these past weeks. I always learn so much from you and wish you the best of luck as you continue on your journey.